you listen to the hype and you, you start thinking you're great and it's all you, well, I know it's not me. I didn't even know how to do this eight years ago. And so I just try to say, God, I believe this is what you, you call me to do. And I think, too, having good family around me, they're not afraid to say, Joel, you know, that was a crazy decision or why do you want to do that? And I don't think they've really had to say that, but I think they would say it. Oh, it does. It surprises me all the time. I just, I never dreamed I'd be doing this. My natural personality is more quiet and reserved, and uh, I just never dreamed it. I do think that the, the 17 years I've, I've spent in production has helped me communicate, being able to edit and to know how the shots work and all that. That really helped. I, I believe that, you know, God has it all as a plan for our life. Or my dad spent 50 years in the ministry, and I saw his love for people and his integrity and how he was the same in the pulpit as he was at home. And I think those planted a lot of seeds in, in me that, you know, just to be sincere and to be humble and listen to, listen to your family and uh, keep your heart pure before God. I just uh, still am amazed to meet people like I'll meet today that I've never seen. And some of them I think, I don't know if I could relate to you, yet somehow my story and, and my words have helped them. So I just feel very humbled. Billy Graham's one of my heroes and mentors, and I saw him reaching everybody. I mean, I think that's a compliment they're giving me, but I don't know. I just I feel like that I talk, you know, just about everyday issues and mm -hmm. try not to make it too complicated, and I think that's how we feel like we can, you know, I have, maybe I do have a broad appeal. I think that I want people to remember me as somebody that brought hope to the world, that, that shared compassion, that made God real and made God friendly and not mad at people, but uh, just made God more uh, accessible and, you know, like the song we sing, seeing God as our friend, not as uh, somebody that's out to get us. I hope they walk away just inspired and challenged. The fact is, I probably get more inspired from all of them just hearing their stories. It's very rewarding and very humbling, but you know, I think I represent hope and the love of Christ, and so I hope that they can just see that we're sincere and down to earth and maybe it'll inspire their faith a little bit.